Hey there, sit here with another video and in this video I'm going to take a look at all the trades that I took in the month of September and this is going to give, uh, give me a general overview of where things uh, went wrong and what I did right and what I need to change. So when I uh, did this Excel spreadsheet, obviously I got that data from the report, monthly report uh, that I got from the TD Ameritrade or the Think or Swim platform. If you are using Think or Swim platform, it's easy uh, to get the report. Yeah, it will get downloaded in your local PC, and then you can you can see like what exactly um, happened throughout the month. So when I take a look at all the trade, as you can see here, I prepared this profit and loss um, columns to calculate exactly how much money I made and how much I lost. So when I did all those things um, at the end, when I sum it up, it shows me that I made $1,759.47 I lost around $1,739.90. So, like throughout the whole month of trading, I just made $19, which is really embarrassing. And why I'm going to talk about it a little bit, why that happened. And you, if you are trading and if you are a beginner trader, then you must have to do this because this will give you the bigger picture and improve your trading improve your decision making and you can take a right trades and make more money than the previous month so you must have to um, analyze yourself analyze your behavior uh, through this type of um, metrics or matrices and here i highlighted few trades that i took in uh, in yellow and these are the trade where I made horrible mistakes, which I could have avoided and I could have been uh, positive, like 800 or $700 at least, least minimum. Okay, so let's take a look uh, from the beginning. So this trade, any, A-N-Y, uh, this trade, I remember when I took I was not really really sure because setup was not there and I just took this trade as a pure gamble and which is because trading is not a gambling trading is not based on the luck trading is purely mathematical and it based on the probability and that probability of you winning the money goes higher when you know exactly what you are doing if the setup is not there then why to take a risk but exactly that what I did and ended up losing $77 so I could have saved those um, and added that in my profit if I had not taken that trade now the next thing is this one Lois iron condor on Lois so this was like a Mm, I, I remember that I opened this trade uh, during their earning, uh, earnings or some somewhat near to that I don't remember exactly but if you see that uh, like this call this call this call spread gave me $58 but this one I lost the money fortunately it was like a minor uh, like just a few dollars of losses but still this was I bought purely without knowing anything and purely for um, um, as a you know motivated I was motivated by greed to get more uh, from that particular earnings event or whatever it, uh, whatever that stock was offering at that time so that's the other mistake that I did now the next one is ATER this is a classical mistake of like chasing or FOMO during this time when 80 80 er were moving if you see here uh, just i guess i uh, did that trade on the same day 
on the same day i made 185 dollars in stocks but i lost 18 dollars well if you may say that okay that's like small amount why uh, i should be bothered by that um that indicates the greed that indicates the fomo and trading is your account balance in your trading account defined by how much uh how much you control yourself like how disciplined you are so that's the one thing that i should not have um you know taken this trade but at the end i did based purely based on the fomo and i lost 18 dollar i believe that i did this trade on the same day um and it was not a good one it 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 doesn't justify the losses now this is a classic another example of my bad trading which is chasing the tail now why i am saying chasing the tail because i remember i was trying to get that quick 100 bucks because rwlk like few weeks ago um it was moving higher it was constantly showing it was following the trend line up up uh, like inclined trend trend line on the uh, on the upside and it was the but the move the overall move um uh, within that um up trend was very choppy so every time i was uh, every time i uh bought 100000 shares it um it um it was flushing like few cents or maybe 10 cents 15 cents but that that's enough to um make you red by 150 dollars or something like that because when you buy higher uh, amount of shares like 1000 2000 your risk multiplied by 2 3 4 how many shares you bought like it has a multiplication factor to your risk uh, component so i did that mistake and i ended up losing 201 dollars uh within that trade it, does it justify anything it, it doesn't justify these losses i should have i should not have taken um a next trade where like after losing money on the first trade setup was not there stock was choppy float was too high there were like sellers, um, sellers in thousands, like fifty thousand uh, share seller, hundred thousand sh um share seller, and the buyer on the same side. So that kind of like a volatility, like I'm not able to, uh, I'm not well equipped or well educated to handle those kind of volatility. So that that's the other trade that go that went wrong purely because of my own mistake. Now. The similar example of jumping into the trade without um, when setup is not there is this one AEMD. Um, I bought this share when it was um, when it formed like three green candles and it was like um, making on the fourth candle it was trying to break that new high but it uh, failed to do that. It flushed down and I bought at the high and then lose another 127 dollars so here itself like i lo um i lost a, a, almost like a 330 dollars and if you add uh, this one and um, let's add this one because these two are very small 400 dollars are just gone there almost for no reason without um, having any reason now let's now let's come to the final few trades the first one is tesla now the one thing that i learned about tesla is never ever ever chase tesla never maybe you might have a similar experience like i do but i chased tesla on two days two times like two days uh, multiple times i would say and every time i got burned and losses were like huge even though like if you uh, if you are trading tesla with put spreads or like um uh, vertical vertical call spread um it's like 
playing with the fire and if you are not sure about tesla's movement you will get wrecked easily and this you can take this example i was chasing tesla uh, when it was like i remember like um few days ago or like uh, what day it was 924 so on 924 which was i believe friday yes exactly so on the friday tesla stock um it flushed down to the lowest level for that day i i believe it flushed to this 740 or something like that when the market opens and then it start curling up then it start moving in upward direction and that movement was completely like uh, up, it was um, following the trend line in upward direction and i did not uh, notice that or more or less like um, i would say i just ignored it and i was hoping that okay if it is uh, if it is flush down at the beginning of when the market open probably it will do the same thing uh throughout the day and that exactly opposite of that happened tesla moved up even higher at the end of the day it reached the 767 or 770 probably more than that i would say and every time i was like so i did so many mistake that day the my first trade was like tesla if you see here this was my first trade on tesla lost 110 dollars i should have stopped there but then i thought like okay now tesla is making uh, moving up even higher maybe it will flush down and that will give me an opportunity to earn around like 200 to 50 dollars but that did not happen every time i uh, started um every time i jumped into the trade with tesla every time like i was just doing puts 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 and puts and that uh, i should have stopped after first or second trade but i didn't do that i was keep chasing tesla when it's going to come down when it's going to come down that that um, never happened and you can see the losses like um 110 73 45 91 31 and like i probably lost around like 250 50 dollars or even more than that i would say for no reason there was no reason to justify that uh, this type of trading now the similar thing buying at the top and then um losing everything when the stock flushed down without um not waiting for the right setup not seeing that where that stock is going whether that uh, not looking at the volume just jump into the trade based on pure luck so that ended up happening with dbgi losses was 290 dollars um similar thing last friday i chase um tesla one more time and uh, i lost 65 and 82 dollars again 100 130 110 dollars over here this was the classic example of the uh, of what not to do with options so wayfair was um, wayfair was flushing down last last friday when the market opened and uh, i thought like it's going to flush even high, even lower but when i jumped into the trade expecting it to go down it went up for a short period of time like for 30 minutes or so then it came down to that original level but when you when you buy a naked put options your risk goes higher you either it can go in your favor and goes down make you money or it if it is um, if it started moving in uh, other direction you just have to cut your losses instantly and um, you know save your account from losing a lot of money i didn't do that i was just waiting okay now it is uh, moving up higher maybe it will flush next maybe it will flush now and that happened but it took some time before uh, before that i closed my trade for the loss of 385 so that's the other mistake that i did so at the end just 19 dollars in profit is not a good thing uh, after 
doing so much of um work it's it's not it's not profitable it's not sustainable i should have what there are few things that i learned through this analysis first wait for the wait for the right setup if setup is right the second thing is if setup is right and if stock is making new high wait for the pullback third cut your losses quickly fourth never chase a tell never buy any stock purely based on the fomo and play carefully with options see that these are the six things that i learned and i hope that uh, in the upcoming uh, in this month of october i will follow those rules uh, to the t and let's see what happens in the month of october october november december months are usually choppy they they were not profitable for me last year when i started trading so i will be more cautious and uh, i will open up the positions like specifically with vertical spreads um if if the if the setup is there and if uh, taking that trade justifies the risk uh, at that moment so once i figured out that uh, then only i will jump into the trade if i feel it right and uh, otherwise i will just stay away from the market uh, but that being said uh thank you for watching this video and i hope you you sub, you should do your um your monthly review of your own trades to see like what exactly you did wrong what exactly you did right and based on that you can carry on with your trading because trading is a learning process every trade teach you something every trade shows you something you just have to pick it up and um, use that for your own betterment so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching and see you again in next trade recap bye